Saturday good morning, for everyone. This is your girl with Caribbean Life TV. Best I'm here at the Jamaican Diaspora. You hear someone's on stage, so I'm whispering. I don't know why I was whispering on stage. So I'm here with um, Mr. 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 Colonel Charles. How are you, sir? I'm great. Wonderful morning. Welcome again to Atlanta. We did this before. Welcome to Atlanta. Thank you very much. So as I was asking you before, what does this mean to you having this um, forum to discuss the Jamaican platform and how it relates to America, especially in this time and age, especially after the elections we just had midterm elections here, as you know, and it was very important in midterm elections for some of these states. What does it mean to you being here today? Well, the United States is the home um, for so many more Jamaicans in our diaspora. Yeah. And so it is a significant um, cohort of persons that I have the responsibility to engage and to ensure we create the platform for them to become involved in our national development. So this forum presents um, a, a, a platform for robust discussion on how the leadership in our diaspora here in the U.S. Um, can function and operate in a cohesive way uh, to protect and promote their interests here in this jurisdiction as well as how they will be able to collaborate uh, to, to support and to be involved in the national development plan back home. And so for me, it's an extremely, extremely wonderful um, um, opportunity because my responsibility is to engage the diaspora. I'm the Minister of State with that specific responsibility. So I see myself as a conduit for the diaspora. And as the Minister for the diaspora, I could never miss um, this very, very important leadership conference. Yes, well, we thank you again for being here. If it's one thing that you wanted everyone to take away as a unified group to work on going forward, what would be the one thing that you say you want everyone to take with them? I think we want to redefine how we see our place in the whole um, strategy towards national development. Yes, 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 and so yes. I would want the diaspora to understand that there must be a mutuality um, and there is a particular uh, important space for the that's carved out here more. in our call to Look action, where Thank it is a so part of the process for us to have the harnessing of the Good power morning, of the everyone. Diaspora as an element morning, of Jamaica's national development plan. Nice. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you so much, Minister. I'm not going to take up too much of your, not, your time. I know we're starting. But thank you for sharing a little of your time with us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for igniting this, this conversation and this topic. And um, good luck. I, I look forward to where we're going with it. I look forward to more conversations like this and seeing you more and working with you more. So Caribbean Life TV appreciates you. And as we always say with Caribbean Life TV, live bold. Thank you so much. And thank you to you and to all of your listeners and Caribbean Life TV but is important because you are the medium for me to get the message out. Without Caribbean Life TV, we can't reach all of the persons out there in the desert. So thank you to you for the good work that you do. Oh, thank you. We're honored. We're honored to be able to do this for everyone in our community. So thank you for allowing us to do that for you. All the best.